Welcome back, Arm Beers. We're gonna jump back into our 2021 collection update, so stay tuned. So let's jump right in, guys. We've got some exciting stuff to show you here. So this there, calm down. She needs to get a little bit more size on her still, but this is a pastel lace, possible lace. It might be. Pastel lace double head clown and desert ghost. So she's in shed, obviously, but it's a beautiful girl. A great uh, addition to the collection. Desert ghost clowns are amazing. Still got to get a mail for her, but. We don't have very much Desert Ghost stuff, that's a shame. Here we have a beautiful Lavender Albino female. Produced right here. R&B Rough Tiles. Our uh, line of Lavender Albino is uh, from Excalibur line. I don't know that any of that matters, really. But uh, some people ask. So. Here's another one. Yeah, glowing neon, man. Look at that. So a lot of times the the, uh, the lighting in here kind of washes out the way the animals look on camera. I don't know if it can pick up this highlighting in here and stuff like that, but kind of does. But it's. Better in person for the sure. Edging around the saddles. Okay. Has that nice dark orange edging. It's really cool. We love our lavender albino stuff. I do anyway. I don't know about Ben, but I do. I do like the lavender albino stuff. I like it all. Moving on. This one is uh, the one Ben decided he wanted to keep. This is a Het Lavender Albino. I think that it looks awesome for a Het Lavender Albino. The back of the head reminds me of a red stripe. It gets that blushing toward the back of the head. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a very pretty animal. The least it will produce some more lavender combos for us. And we're going to be having uh, a lot of Lavender Albino stuff that we're producing, you know, so. Tons of it. Yeah. Moving right along. We just cleaned these bins. <laughs> Absolutely just cleaned every one of them. And she just shed apparently. This right here is a lesser possible hit 66% sunset. She is so bright though. Mm -hmm. It's like crazy bright for just a lesser, right? Oh, for sure. Am I crazy? No, and the outlines uh, on the dorsal are so much darker than what a lesser should be. So I think she'll prove. That's the hope. We'll see. We're going to make uh, Blue-Eyed Lucy sunsets and not now. Sure. She's in shed too. Here's another one. Another lesser. 66% head sunset. Deep in shed. She's normally as bright as the other one. And it's breeding season. And everybody's kind of switched on right now. Eating heavily. So I expect a lot of them to be in shed because they're just slam the food. Next on the list, one of my favorite projects. And again, with our lavender stuff. This here is a double head lavender albino tri stripe. Beautiful head tri stripe markings on it. Super what are cool. the head tri stripe markings? That's another video, Ben. Oh. <laughs> you just see the connected alien heads, a bit of the dorsal striping. Yeah, there's no dots in those alien heads. 
the back. So they like to run a lot. That usually means try strength. Yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. That's not. That's not true. <laughs> Bundled up here in the back. Here's another Het he Lavender Albino Tri Stripe. Mm hmm. We got a trio. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this season we'll make double visuals. That would be amazing. It would be to jump right in. Like, we haven't been in Tri Stripe yet in the first trio that we got to put that mail to the het lavender stuff that we've made this year with Enchi mm -hmm. leopard yellow belly orange dream craziness that'd be awesome that'd be great so hopefully we hit some visual double, double visual possible head pies on top of it. <laughs> really cool this girl we've been showing off a lot Hopefully she's a uh, gravid. If not now, soon. So our super Enchi Triton. She was a problem feeder for us for a little bit, but now she's eat, like killing food. She <laughs> does not want to. Come on, stop it. Look at the head stamp. That's fine. Don't need to mess with her too much. I'll mess with her. I pay your salary, kind of loud. <laughs> well, right. look at this! <laughs> the Triton head stamp. <laughs> Once again, Triton is pastel, enchi, fire, and orange dream. Say it one more time. Pastel, enchi, fire, and orange dream. All buried all the way in the back when the heat. <sighs> mm. This beautiful girl. Uh, is Enchi? <laughs> no, this it was Miss no. Enchi. So Calico, Orange Dream, Cinnamon Blackhead. Mm -hmm. Possible hip hide. Possible hip hide. Very cool animal. I can't believe how many are just really going in the shed. It's cool, but. But what? Going in the shed means they're growing. I agree. This is Superfly Inferno. So, Hidden Gene Woma, Pastel Yellow Belly, and Super, Super pastel, pastel, and Fire. Very beautiful. So super pastel, fire, yellow belly, hidden gene woma. Don't sleep on the hidden gene woma game, man. Mm-hmm. That's one of those genes that's been around for a little while, but people just don't seem to understand it really and aren't working with it well. And I mean, a lot some of people, people are, but. ask about it and they're like, "What do you? What's hidden gene woma? Why is the hidden gene woma? It's so confusing. What's the hidden gene? I mean, there's no hidden gene. It's just a name." Mm-hmm. This girl, our Mario Het Desert Ghost. Mm hmm. Okay, your B roll shot. Sure Mario. You can see the lips. One of the key identifiers. The Mario mm -hmm. or the black lips. <laughs> and the dirty belly down right down the center of the belly. That's why the very reduced pattern almost looks enchi-ish. Without the color, yeah. Without the orange, yeah. That's why I think that uh Dinker is a good Dinker. Go ahead. Come at me. Uh this female here is a Mystic Potion, which is a Mystic Mojave. I don't know if she'll stay still, we'll see. That dorsal stripe is so defined and clean on this one. I don't it's know crazy. Why they want to go under the bins? This is darker. 
kind of come at you. Another one in shed. That's a shame because this thing glows. It's a pastel yellow belly lace. Mm hmm. Even in shed, it's still bright, but when it's not in shed, it's so much nicer. The distortion that the lace brings toward the belly is just so cool. And of course, it, every shed as it ages, it gets brighter and brighter, just like a desert ghost. So nice. And here, take away a pastel, and you get a yellow belly lace. So vibrant and bright, even without pastel. Yellow belly and lace go great together. Mm -hmm. If you look at the belly, it's crazy looking. Does it? Is that getting washed out, or can you see it? You can see it. The orange that bleeds onto the belly. Mm -hmm. Yellow belly distorts the belly, and then lace distorts the belly, and together, it gets real crazy. She's sitting on eggs. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Here we have a pastel enchi. Yeah, it was a butter. Pastel enchi butter. Right, because it came from that clutch. We have butter and lesser, which are basically the same gene, but different lines. But just to keep track of everything, I want to make sure I say the right thing. This is one of the butters. It's pastel enchi butter. Pastel enchi butter. Beautiful animal. Being paired with the, doesn't matter because that's not what this video is about. <laughs> Another girl that was a slow eater for us, but she really picked up this season. Pastel Enchi GHI. Mm -hmm. We do enjoy producing GHI combos. Especially Super GHI. Oh yeah. Very pretty lady. This one I wish would eat a little bit better for us. Just double check all the things. Yeah. Black pastel chocolate trick. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful, it has these almost burnout kind of ringers it's trying to get. Black pastel and chocolate make it super dark together, but then the trick is making all these like, almost hieroglyphics on the side. Mm -hmm. Very nice belly. Such a dark and cool pattern. Love that one. Oh, Ma. Here we have a nice Arroyo female, possibly a Rio, but we're not. I think it's a Rio, but. Not 100% on it. I would. It's a very nice high expression Arroyo if it's not a Rio, but I would like to prove it out before I call it that. I think it's a Rio. Okay, it's a Rio. Awesome. And there's this girl. And there's this one that came from an Arroyo pairing. This is a possible Rio pairing. Don't know exactly, I'm assuming that it's an Arroyo, but what's causing this color and pattern? It's gotta be an Arroyo because it came from a Rio to an Arroyo. Um, Are we calling that a, a Rio for sure now? Everything that's come out of her has been a royal. I didn't know that we double checked it, but okay. There's a lot of things that we weren't positive on, but I think looking back now with our experience, I would say that they were. Super bright orange. I don't know what's causing that. She was a tr very troubled eater in the beginning, and uh, we were worried that she wouldn't make it, and then she's hasn't stopped eating once she turned on, so... 
Yeah. So, that's the end of this rack, I guess. So thanks so much guys for watching our video. I hope you're enjoying seeing the update of our collection for 2021. Uh, we're excited to see these girls start producing some babies for us. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. We'll walk you along the adventure with us. Hopefully it's awesome. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Check out Herp House Rockets, our other channel. We do a long form podcast on there with really cool people in the industry. Lots of information, lots of funny stories, lots of history about the ball python and even just the reptile hobby in general. Uh, we don't, we only have like two or three uh, ball python centric ones on there. So there's a lot of lizards and other species. So mm -hmm. yeah, check it out. Thanks again, guys. Thanks again, Arm Beers. Welcome back, r and We're going to continue the update on the 2021 collection. 2021 collection update. Stay tuned. I'm really glad you, you're uh, embracing this r and thing. You didn't do it until Kai started saying Royals. <laughs> uh, What's up, Royals? <laughs>